Okay, so we have another one now. Write the expression in terms of i and simplify. So uh, as before, we want to first change both of these into i's. So we want to break each of these down. We look for the largest perfect square that divides evenly into 40, and that's going to be 4. So we're going to write this as 4, and then it'll be times 10, and then times negative 1 inside. For this other one over here, we're going to do break that up and do square root of 5 times negative 1. Okay, then we're going to square root of each of these separately. We're going to do square root of 4, square root of 10, and square root of negative 1. And this one we can break up into square root of 5, square root of negative 1. Square root of 4 turns into a 2, and then the square root of negative 1, that's going to just be i's for both of those. So we have i, we have another square root of 5, and we have i. We're going to multiply the, or switch the order around on these. So we do 2 times i times i times square root of 10 times square root of 5. So we can, we're allowed to switch the order around because it's multiplication. These two i's we're going to multiply together and you get uh, i squared. So that would be 2i squared. And then you would get square root of 50. Not done yet because we want to break down the square root of 50. Square root of 50 can be written as, we're going to do 25 times 2 because 25 is the largest perfect square that divides evenly into there. And i squared, we can turn that into negative 1. So inside here, I'm going to have a square root of 25 times 2. The square root of 25 is 5, and it's going to multiply by what I have out here. So when the 5 comes out, you're going to get negative 10, and then you have square root of 10, uh, 10 on the outside. So square root of 10, square root of 2, that would be your final answer. So again, it's, that would be the, uh, we wrote the expression in terms of i, we did that. And as a result, when we multiplied, when we simplified all of it, we got negative 10 root 2.